Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hey, praise the Lord. We'd like to welcome you to the Breakthrough Church. It's truly an honor and pleasure to be here. And just relax and sit back. I got a powerful word for you today called Pressing Through Pain. Now, Pressing Through Pain is a format that God gave us to stay strong while we're in the midst of the fire. What is the fire? The fire is things that we're going through. It's the, the pressure of the world. It's the pressure of when you feel like you're breaking. But God has a word for you today. So let me open in prayer. Father, we thank you in Jesus name today. We give you glory and we give you praise for every breakthrough, every uh, uh, chain that's being broke today. Everyone that's watching and hearing, Lord God, that they will receive a fresh word from you. So, Lord, we push back on everything don't belong to them right now. Every spirit of depression, every spirit of division, we push it back right now. Peace, be still in the name of Jesus. So we thank you in Jesus name. Amen. So the word today is going to be pressing through pain. You can you can locate that in Philippians chapter three, verse 12. And you will see I, I encourage you to go to it yourself and get into the word. Read a little bit at a time. You ain't got to read it like a novel. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Pray and then read slowly so the spirit of God can rest. So I want to share with you this powerful word in Philippians three. Paul is talking about uh, in the midst of, of going through something, going through something and keeping focus on the Lord. OK, so I, 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 I'm going to get to it right now. So this is what it says. That. The power of God, what we have with this. OK, that's right. Let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. You see distractions. Distractions always come. So I have to be strong when distractions come. That means stand focused on the word of God. OK, so watch this. It says that not that I have already obtained all of this. So I'm not saying that I'm already perfect. And this is this is something that I think should happen when I want it to happen. Why I'm praying to God things ain't happening at my timing. Why? It's a process. Watch what he say. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect. No, this is a process. So when you fall, you get back up. If you ain't been praying because you ain't prayed last week, don't let condemnation fall on you. Get up right where you at and press. And this is what the message is. Pressing through pain. Understand it. See, I, he said, I have not been made perfect. But I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Now, so now I'm in a position in my spirit. See, this is a spiritual thing. It's not a physical thing where I want things to happen the way I want it to. And because I don't see, I don't believe it. No, I believe it because who? Christ that's in me gave me assurance of his word. Do you understand that? So he said, to take hold of that from which Christ Jesus took hold of me. So when he took hold of me, you know what that means? That means that I'm praying. That means I'm in my word. That means I'm, I'm fruitful in my life. I'm growing. Am I making mistakes? Yes, I'm going to make mistakes, but it ain't about the mistake. It's about the growth of the mistake. It's about what did you learn from the mistake and keep it moving. This is called pressing. So you're going through something right now. Press through it. Press through it. Don't give up. Trust God. Keep your focus on him. He said, those who keep their eyes on me, I will keep in perfect peace. That's what he said. Now, do you believe? It? Now, watch this. He said that take hold of death in which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to be taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and is pressing forward towards what is ahead. So it's not about the past no more. What did I learn about the past? I should have learned something about the past. Because if I didn't learn anything about the past, then I'm just recycling the pain. Understand that. I must learn from the lesson. Why? Because there's always a lesson with a blessing. What you're going through right now, you're going through for the lesson to turn into the blessing. You have to be able to be able to handle the blessing and the foundation is the lesson. 
But one thing I do, I'm forgetting what is behind and I'm pressing forth towards what is ahead. What is ahead? What is ahead of me today? Is it my circumstances? Is it my situations? Is it because uh, things ain't going right right now? What is I'm focusing on today? Is I'm focusing on the stuff I'm going through. Some people right now is going through a lot of sickness and disease right now. And if you're listening, I want to encourage you today to take the word of God, go back to 3 and 12 of Philippians and read that and read that and read that and get it in your spirit so you can learn, key word, to stand up in the spirit and press forward. So we come against everything right now, every spirit of diffusion, witchcraft, all this type of stuff that's running rapid in the world right now against God's people right now. We push you back in the name of Jesus right now, back to darkness. Holy Spirit, have your way on everyone that's watching and listening right now in the name of Jesus right now, that they will move forward from this point on in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Lord God, right now for it. So one thing that I, I'm forgetting what is behind and pressing forward to what is ahead. I press, wow, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenly and Christ Jesus. Well, what you mean about that? Well, the first thing a lot of people think they, they hear the word heavenly and they think about going to heaven, which we are going, okay, because that's the total high prize benefit of salvation, that we'll be with God. But God got business to do right now with you, okay? And that heavenly part just don't mean we're going to heaven, okay? The heavenly part means all the power and authority you got right now, okay? Christ is bagging you up. He has given you the power. He has given you the authority to come out no matter what it is. But it's a process of learning the lesson what God is trying to tell you. And sometimes it's real easy to get stubborn. Sometimes it's real easy that it's my way or the highway, but you can't tell God that. God will use a rock to speak if he wanted to. You never know how God is going to come in your life when you line up with him and your focus is pressing forward to him, not the circumstances. Did you get that? It's not what you're going through. It's who you belong to that gives you the power, gives you the authority gives you the format to move forward and tear down every chain that was built up against you. So if you don't have a mind right now in Christ, fall on your knees and tell God and repent of your sin to him and say, Lord God, speak to me and be quiet. Speak to me. This moment forward, I'm pressing forward, Lord God. I'm letting go all the worries that I've been carrying. I'm letting go all the stuff that I've been holding against people, Lord God. I'm letting go all the stuff that I was hurt about in my past. I'm letting go when people treat me wrong, when I've been a blessing to them. I'm letting it go now, God, so I can hear you and watch and see what happens. It should be a peace if that prayer was made with a sincere heart. It should be a peace that falls so rich on you, you know it's God. See, some people don't have options no more. Where can they go? Without God, where can you go? What can give you the peace? What can give you the serenity that you need to prosper in every realm of your life today? But Jesus. Why? Because Jesus died and gave you the power and authority to walk on this earth with victory from victory to victory, not battle to battle, unless you're winning in victory and victory. We don't want to go in battle to battle without winning. Because battle to battle means that it's more coming, and I'm going to make sure that all of it, through the power of Christ, breaks its back as it follows to my feet, every situation. So with that, Father God, bless your people today, and let your power reign. And we thank you for the Breakthrough Church. Senior Pastor Everett, Pastor Clay, and Breakthrough Family. My name is Pastor Clay.